Hello my brothers and sisters and welcome back to another action packed episode of Chris the Butcher and Friends. And tonight I'm back cooking again. I've got some inner fillet chicken fillet chicken fillet inners. Mini chicken fillets, you call them chicken inners. Don't matter what you do. Chicken fillet, little piece of chicken fillet off the underside of the chicken fillet. Have I, have I told you I'm doing chicken fillet? Uh, some lakes, some spring onions, some uh, potatoes, some uh, peppers, uh, some cream, uh, some chicken stock, and a little bit of flour, probably. And uh, that is tonight's tea, which tonight is Friday. It won't be Friday when you're watching this. It will more likely be Saturday when you're watching this. Happy Saturday. Have a good weekend. And for this, we are going to start off with the mini chicken fillets. Uh, I'm just going to season them, basically. And when I say basically, I mean basic. Crack black pepper. And salt. And then just, just get your hands in and mix them. But make sure, once you've done this step, you wash your Germans. And when I say Germans, I mean the hands. Right, I'm gonna wash my hands and I'm gonna start searing these off. I'm gonna do them in two batches, I think, because I don't want the chicken to boil. I want it to I want it to get some crust on it and get some flavour. I might season them up a little bit more, a little bit more salt as well, because I don't think I put enough in there, because there's quite a lot of chicken. There's a kilo there. Because we're hungry, fat bastards in this house. Right away, I'll wash my hands and I'll crack on. Right, let's get seasoning stuff this chicken before it goes fucking pan explodes. Using the Suffolk Viking as you can see. And also I've got the uh, extractor fan on as you could probably hear. These won't take long to see and they probably actually will cook after this pan. But I'll leave it for that. Next time you see this, I will be putting it. I've got a pan here. That's when I'll cut the stuff in. It's weathered, but you know what? It's good. And uh, yeah, I'll do this and I will start uh, sweating off some uh, leeks and some potatoes. Now the chicken is seared off. It's time to uh, soften up. These leeks, which I have chopped and I have rinsed, because leeks tend to have shit in them, don't they? Ground shit, ground scum. So yeah, I'll spend a couple of minutes doing this, and then uh, we're going to I'm going to do the potatoes, chop the potatoes. I'm not going to peel them, but I am going to wash them. And I'm going to cut them really small, so they don't take long to cook. But uh, yeah, I'll persevere with these first, and then we'll crack on with the potatoes. Potatoes, potatoes. So I haven't washed out my pan, but I have put a little bit more oil in it because uh, it kind of evaporated with the chicken and the leeks. And we're going to go now with uh, my finely chopped, washed potatoes. At this moment, I'm going to throw a bit more salt in there as well. Not too much because I'm using chicken stock. And that's quite salty anyway, isn't it? So I just want to get a bit of crisp on these, I think. I'm not gonna cook them for long, I just want to I wanted to soak up some of that that goodness and that flavour in that pan. Uh, the, the oil I've been using here by the way is vegetable oil. I, I do apologise. But uh, I'm using all fresh ingredients. So I should be alright. I don't think this will kill me. And if anyone's wondering. I want to say a big massive thank you to Phil Brown because by using the link in the description for PayPal 
he donated 20 pounds and he wants me to cook that dish uh, the fish salmon dish that Adam Garrett cooked for me which I was planning on doing this week but uh, I've, had, I've, I've been busy with appointments and stuff and I am going to be next week but I'm going to try and do it next week courtesy of Phil Brown thank you very much for your donation on PayPal mate so as you can see that's our potatoes now done I will show you the pan in a minute uh, I'm a bit limited for time in a minute but I'm going in now with my uh, yellow pepper and I know I've got leek in there but I'm going with some spring onion as well because I love spring onion and uh, also as usual in this house if I don't use it we're going to lose it if you know what I mean so I'm going to give that a couple of minutes and I'm going to add I'm going to add a tablespoon of flour to this as well and then that will be this pan finished with and then we're all in the pan here you can just see the side of it so yeah let's add some flour now I'm going to add a better tablespoon I'm not measuring it I'm just going to put it in flour and that is more than a tablespoon I know but you know we don't do things by half in this house do we so I'm just going to keep do you know what I'm going to do there with that right that's quite dry I've made some chicken stock uh, I'm just going to pop that in as well just a bit just to get everything off the bottom of the pan I would use white wine or something like that or something really extravagant but uh, I ain't got anything like that <laughs> so I need to cook this flour out the best I can uh, I think I fucked it already <laughs> I'll persevere I might, I'll put my, I might put a bit more chicken stock in there I might, in fact I am going to do a bit more chicken stock I can always make more chicken stock. We've got about 100 fucking cubes of it in the fucking cupboard. So I'll persevere on here. Next time you see this, oh, it's going everywhere. Uh, it'll all be in that pan there. Bar and I haven't fucking binned it because I fucked it up here. Okay, oh, you now. What a fucking nubbard. Well everything is in there, and let's be honest, it doesn't look too fucking appetising right now, does it? Because I fucked up the last process. But it will rectify itself. Because I'm going in now with my chicken stock. I want to I cover it. Have I done enough? More than enough. I've got a bit left there, just in case I need it. But I want to give this a stir now. And I've put, I've took, I incidentally had the hob on. Hob on. <laughs> I had it on the medium to high, and now I've got it on high because I just want to get this rocking and rolling, boiling. But, yeah, I don't know what I'm calling this yet, just a chicken fucking disaster right now. I might get the lid on as well, just get the heat up quicker. Because, like I said, I'm running out of fucking time here. I started it far too late tonight. Lid on, and I'll see you probably be in about an hour. So our simple chicken casserole, I suppose, is nearly done. I've turned the hob off so it's just it's just got its residual heat. Because I'm now going to go in, I'm going to put a tub of cooking cream. Now I know this is an absolute no-no for me, but do you know what? Fuck it. I don't want the cream to curdle either or fucking split. That's why I've turned the... Uh, Heat off. Oh. Now that looks like a proper chicken casserole, doesn't it? And do you know what? It's took me about an hour and 20 minutes to do this. Uh, we filmed in about seven hours. <laughs> so, obviously the heat's still on the hob because it's an allergen hob, so it does cool down instantly like gas or induction. But yeah, just going to let that sit there. Let's put that on there for a bit. In about five to ten minutes, I'll throw some of the ball, slide it down my gizzard. So there it is, brothers and sisters. It's in a bowl, ready to be garnished. And when I say garnished, we're going to go with some green shit. And the only green shit I've really got right now is mint. 
I have got some time, but I don't like time. So why have I got time if I don't fucking like it? And also we've got some uh, parsley. My go-to green sheet is parsley, and there it is. I'm not overdo it. So there, yes. I'm going to take a thumbnail, uh, and then I'm going to get down here and slide some of this beautiful creamy chicken casserole down my gizzard. It smells good. Even Josh has been in and said it smells good, and he don't normally do watery things like tatty ashes and casseroles. Potato. Let me find. I know there's chicken in here. I fucking put it in. The fuck? Oh, there's a bit of chicken. Bit of chicken. Bit of tomato. Uh, tomato. Tomato. Uh, potato. Potato. Some leek there. Oh, look at that! All over the floor. Just as we like it. It's fucking screaming up this by the way. Look at that. Do you know what? All that needs now is a bit of, a bit of fucking proper butter on some crusty bread. But guess what? I ain't fucking got any. So there you go. Oh my brothers and sisters, that was my creamy chicken casserole thingy magic. Definitely was a casserole. I had leeks in it, I had potatoes in it. I didn't have. Oh, I had spring onions in it. I had cream in it. I had chicken in it. I had to. Fuck! Double teaming the bastards! And he's still there, look! Fuck off! Right, anyway, that was superb! I loved it! If you like this, press like, comment, share it on your social media, and subscribe! Bah! And become a family member of Hashtag TubeCTB! Well, I, this big daft northern prick, Said that with a bit too fucking much passion there, didn't I? Fucking loves you.